Hi guys and welcome back to Tracy's Allotment. So just thought I'd do a quick sort of tour um, and a bit of an update. So this bed here is what was there last year. That's where we grew all like the smaller pumpkins. But we've extended it down to the end there. Um, and I've got some pumpkins and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be a pumpkin bed. And then this end bit is going to be anything spare. So Carl's been up with a strimmer, the water tank is full, the shed's tidy, so just give you a little look around. So um, there is bits of grass and stuff coming through here because obviously it was a field when we first started. So I've just been pulling bits and pieces out, I shouldn't really be putting my hand in because last, last week I got bit by a spider and my hand just like really swelled up, it was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so this is a strawberry bed, so I've got all of these here, down to here, which are normal strawberries. Um, this row here is bubbleberries, which are strawberry, uh, they look like a strawberry, but they're crossed with a raspberry and pineapple. Um, these are framberries in this row, and then here um, I've got... Uh, what you call it? Pine breeze at the very end. Some of them's getting flowers on and stuff, um, which are the pine breeze. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the flowers look bigger than last year, so it's, this is the second year for these. So hopefully we get some bigger uh, ones off them. But on the strawberries, where was it at? I think this one's a good one to show you. Like, look at all them. There, that's going to come. So we're going to have lovely, um, fresh strawberries and loads of strawberry desserts. And I'll be doing jam again with them. Um, the brassica cage, um, full of kale. <laughs> it's got either uh, red scarlet curly kale or scarlet curly kale. I don't know which one. Um, and then Tuscan kale in there as well. So there's lots. Lots and lots of kale, and that's just absolutely flying in there. Pear tree. Um, did this have any blossom on this year, Carla Pear? I don't think it did, no. Um, so it didn't have any blossom on this year. So I put some patty pans in, which are like a flat sort of squashed pumpkin. And I think they've been in like two weeks or something now. And they don't... I'll just leave it, but they don't look too great, but they might just start flying. They're the ribes or ribes. Um, that's my apple tree. There's nothing really, no blossom on there, so I don't think we're going to get anything on, on that this year. Another patty pan in there, and the plum tree. On here. Um, where was it at? I think it's more on this one, I think. This is the only stalk here that had blossom on, so we might get a handful of plums. Got rhubarb. We've got hairs as well, <laughs> um, like rabbits and hairs. Um, so I think that the hair is actually sitting in um, in the flowers. So look at that. It's where it's been sat. Um, and I'm over the moon with this as well because. Um, Again, I do black. I do loads of different jams and stuff. So, like to preserve um, what we've grown. And look at all them. There's going to be absolutely an abundance of black currants this year. And on there, there's some actually grown. Same with the gooseberries. There's like literally gooseberries on every um, on every kind of stalk or strand of thing, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, the, on every stem. Uh, they're the cabbages that we put in. They are Offenen cabbage, and I think there's three or four uh, King Savoys in there. January King Savoy, I think they're called. Um, but yeah, so there's loads of Offenen cabbage in there. That's where my peas are going, and I'm really, really disappointed with the peas this year. I just really kind of get them to germinate. I must have set, must have been about 100 um, 
seeds away and I must have like 10, 20 at the most to put in, but better than nothing. They are leeks, so there's leeks in there. The potatoes is coming through, so they're coming through, can he? Um, I can't remember the name of the ones that we got. Was it Pentland Javelin potatoes we got? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is, yes, and they're all the same, so that's that. This is where my beans are going to go, so I'm going to climb the beans over um, the arch thing that Carl made me. Um, again, the beans, I'm struggling to get them to germinate. And I do want the French bush beans again this year. Um, I've set some more of them off, so I'm just literally waiting for them germinating to see if they do germinate. They're the raspberries that we rescued um, that we're going to get thrown out by our friend who's got a garden centre. Um, these raspberries here are what I got from B&Q and we put them in, I think it was maybe not last year, the year before. So last year we didn't really get anything off them. But look at all of these. So these ones here, these ones here are the summer fruiting. So from there to there. They're summer fruiting, and then they're autumn. And a lot of them ones that we rescued are autumn as well. Um, but what, like I say, what I'll do with them, if sometimes the raspberries can be a bit bitter, a bit sharp, whatever to eat. So I'll just freeze them. And then when I get enough, again, do some jam. Sugar in the jam will sweeten them up. That's a garlic. Um, doing really really well carl wasn't sure whether we'd do garlic next year but i am going to do it i'm the boss <laughs> um right this is lettuce and we only put this in a couple of weeks ago and it's doing absolute fantastic um so yeah that's the lettuce we grew we grew some of this i can't remember the name i think it's rossa and something else but um carl will know but yeah, we grew some of this for us and some for my dad. That's the rhubarb. We've had one picking of the rhubarb. Um, I mean, I did a rhubarb crumble. It was really, really nice. That's an empty bed at the minute, but not for long. Then we have got hundreds of onions. Um, the onions, I think, go to about there. And then after that, it's leeks. So I'll try and zoom in. Yeah, you can't really, can't really see. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, they're doing really, really well. Starting to sort of bulb up. Um, and the mixture of Bedford, Bedford Champion, uh, Kelso, and we've got red onions, but they're in a different bed. And the leeks are the Inferno Giant and Elephant, I think with a leak and then this is the wildlife area literally wild so we've just let this grow around the pond weeds and everything um and we're just letting it grow just like say for the frogs and um if there's any newts or anything like that so yeah so we're just letting the that grow like that and the same with this over here we're just like it's hard to maintain this bit here because there's just weeds and stuff and we're just going to let it grow wild anyway with some of the annual uh, sorry, uh, perennial flowers that's in. That's our cherry tree. Um, I don't think there was any blossom on the cherry tree this year. So I don't think we'll get cherries, but nonetheless, it's grown. Um, I'm not sure what that is at the back. Don't know. Looks nice anyway. <laughs> Might be a weed. Um, there's some alliums coming, so they'll be opening out soon. Um, there's some more alliums there. These are what were um, at a different part of the plot, like at the entrance of the field. Um, when we come down, we just dug them up and they were just little weedy tiny things last year. And they're absolutely huge, which again, I don't mind because... I think the hair, the hairs have been sat in there, so helping the wildlife and stuff as well. And I do know there is fox and deer around here as well. They're nettles. Um, 
that's a big grass thing that's our compost heap um so we just keep chucking all sorts in there these are the red cabbages um and that there is the spider if i can where's the dot it's gone under i don't know if you can see it one of them spiders that bit me made all my hands swell up so yeah so these are the red cabbages we've got kohlrabi in there because we really really enjoyed that last year so i think there's about 24 kohlrabi in there i only used it as coleslaw so but we'll think of some other stuff to use these are red i think carl aren't they these um so we've got red onions and then we had loads and loads of onions left so we just clumped them up and we're just going to use them as spring onions i direct sowed some chard and i think that that's it coming through um but i don't know if that's a weed if it's chard <laughs> um i think that's the chard there to be honest i think that is a weed but there's some chard there but mr mole came through here so i'm not sure where um i'll just leave it and if the chard comes it comes that's an empty bed and then other than that guys that's pretty much it i think we've got a salad bed over there with some beetroot and spring onions but yeah that's about it but the potatoes is coming really really nice so yeah have we got much more to go in carl i've got pumpkins and stuff haven't i pumpkins uh, peas we'll beans get a of courgettes, we? yeah we're going to get a couple of courgettes because we've been having a roasted mediterranean vegetable pack thing what i buy at the shop um so we're going to grow some courgettes it's i wasn't keen on the marrow last year but I think I like courgette. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And the justerberry, I don't think we're going to have anything on the justerberry this year. So yeah, so that's it from me. Um, thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe and catch you on the next one. Short of confidence